<laughs> Not even a little bit. He's m insanely cringe. I mean, I don't fucking listen to him. <laughs> exactly. Nobody does. No respect. The call Cassidy. <laughs> uh, um, from the Caucasus Mountains. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's normal. That tracks. You have to use red potatoes as well. You gotta leave the skin on. Did you say yellow potato salad? Yeah, mustard based instead of. Um. Uh, I don't know if white potato salad is mayonnaise. What? What did I do? Get the sandal, Amron. The chancla. No, even if someone gets him out, he's still going to be laying in the fetal position. Because you were. In the field. When you got stuck under your trailer. That's because I ragdolled. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. Let's and talk about it. He's permanently ragdoll in the middle of the field. Put the cinnamon rolls in. Oh, he hit in the oven. It's... Oh, and I, I said, what did I do? Because you walked into the kitchen and said, God damn it. Oh, so I was looking for the, the how long to put the cinnamon rolls in for. Oh. Damn it, Tyler, what do you do now? 23 minutes. What did you do for 15? Dude, one of my all-time favorite times that James got stuck was, I think it was in Lucid. I can't remember what we were doing. I think, you know, we were doing like trash or like, uh, like electrical or some shit. And uh, <laughs> I ran us into a gas truck. And, yeah, and he was <laughs> stuck inside the semi forever. Nobody could get him out. <laughs> oh, I remember that. Because... And then he was running back and forth and he couldn't get out and I was there and I couldn't even get him out. I tried to pray him in the truck, I tried to carry him out. Yeah. He, he, he oh, like we had EMS there, we had police there, we had so many people there trying to get him out and he couldn't get he out. He was just walking back and forth in the trailer. No, can't even get, we see him running but he can't get out. Honestly, freaking tonight was hysterical doing electrical with uh, Megan. Oh, because I'm retarded? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't use that word. Um, she, we did the job up by hospital. She falls off the ladder, smacks down, pick her up, go up to the hospital. I start messing with EMS. We start doing our thing. They're actually, I like the EMS here very, very much. Um, they took her in the back. They did their thing. We got her out. We go do another job. We come back to the same job. Megan falls again. We go back up to the hospital and the EMS come around the corner like, what are you doing back here right now? It has been five minutes. What are you doing back here already? That sounds like me and James doing electrical is back in grade. Well, like there were night. in grade, there were times like most of the time 
I would fall off the ladders intentionally just to make James mad. <laughs> and then, but there were those sometimes when it was an, it was complete accident that were just funny as hell to me for some reason. <laughs> There's nothing that beats Oda falling out of the crane. I don't think, or uh, Darnell falling out of the crane. That is the best electrical clip. <laughs> that was funny. The way he's going down and everything. <laughs> just bumping off of everything. <laughs> like he's, look at the goddamn dice tower. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it was funny when Taki got locked himself in the trunk of his own car. Listen, <laughs> it's not my fault. And then, and only then did he get locked himself in the meat shop later that night. It was not a good day for me yesterday, huh? <laughs> Just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> well, how about we had almost all of our family in the hospital once? Are you serious? I had to take freaking, uh, who was it? Uh, Hank. No, 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 no. I had to take you, I had to take you and Sai first because you decided you wanted to fucking beat each other up in the, in the, in the, in the uh, compound. Whoa, whoa, we stabbed each other, thank you very much. Okay, yeah, no, you stabbed each other. <laughs> I, so I had to pick them up, put them in my car, take them down to the hospital. No sooner did that happen, Fucking Hank had to take Diaz to the hospital, and no sooner did Hank drop Diaz on the bed, Hank fucking falls over and oh no, dies right there at the end of Diaz's bed. Oh, we can actually do that. Hold on. So there was like five or six of us there at once. Hello, motherfucker. But me. Hi, Mr. DM, sir. Whenever you're ready, baby boy. Found you. Uh, let me do one thing real quick and I'll start. You good? I, I need to, I need to uh, change my laundry over. Can you, uh, real quick play that fucking clip of me falling out of the crane when you have barbecue? Hello, motherfucker! <laughs> Did they just mute themselves? Is there a way to do that IRL all the time? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't know you guys come with a mute. Wait, oh my god. No one likes you. God, why are you even here? <laughs> I thought you owned this Discord server. I thought you could just mute everybody anytime you wanted. I can, isn't it great? <laughs> you know what? Everybody getting hit. Everybody taking it. Oh shit, he hitting that about again. I was getting a mute button. Everybody getting hit with that about again. That a beady kabibi. 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 Uh, be -de -be -de -be. Even better. We get our wands and we find an empty parking lot and we all cast spells at each other. That's not a wand, that's a Roman candle. I was just about to say you just you just you just said you just mispronounced Roman candle. Like that's all. Uh, -de -be -de. I only know one spell, it just happens to be incendio. <laughs> Mine's a body <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> You so you mm -hmm. know two. <laughs> I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the big one. I'm gonna call it explosivo. 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 Mine's just called dynamite. Explosivo. <laughs> you don't know who's called rocket launcher. Dynamite. Everyone, he doesn't know Lunguardian Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. No, Leviosa. <laughs> hey, that's copyrighted. We just got a copyright strike. That's it. Now. I just got a strike. Great. Fucking nerds. God damn it. He can't fucking say that. J.K. Rowling's on the line. Hold on. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Did she shut me down? We I'm don't started. listen to you, bitch. You'd be pressing charges on your ass. 
Well, welcome everyone. Hello. Hi. Hi, Hi sir. Hello. It is uh, session number three already. Hey. Seems like, seems like just yesterday we were but mere thoughts and all of our heads. But here we are. Um, yeah, thank you all for coming out. Thank you to the viewers out there. Thank you to you guys, the players. You're awesome. Love you guys. Um, Love you more. But. Hello, without motherfucker. Further ado, we'll get right into the session. Uh, last we left off. After a restful night for most. Um, but a rest, restless night uh, for one Morgan. Our group of intrepid heroes, uh, just meeting hours prior, woke up in the tavern to the smells of breakfast foods being cooked and coffee being brewed. Uh, you each made your way down on your own time, but eventually all convened at a table in the dining hall of the Bearded Winch. Um, just as you were all were about to set out for the day, a group of guards and a crier came in. Uh, and offered you all a reward for slaying the two beasts that attacked the town yesterday. Uh, afterwards, Randall showed up escorted and escorted you to his home. From there, you all did your own types of little investigations here and there. Um, but the one that was the most fruitful was, de was Tyrael. Uh, by detecting a faint necrotic uh, presence just at the end of his spell's reach. Um, you all noticed... A well that goes down quite a ways and decided to descend down the well's shaft and um, to try and reach the uh, underground river that Randall uh, spoke to you about not too long prior. Uh, you all made it safely, uh, except that you had one small scare with uh, Tyrael losing his grip, uh, but Zero was able to catch him and aid him down. Uh, once you all got into the cavern, you notice that there was a bit of purple fungus and flora that had been growing in this cavern. Um, all the plants were putting off a faint purple glow. Uh, you all inspected the water as well. Notice that it had some discoloration to it, uh, which led to Tyrael scooping some up into a vial and running a small little test, finding out that it doesn't um, that the uh, uh, whatever is in the water does not like light as all of the discoloration went to uh, a point in the vial that was farthest away from the light source. You all talked a little more, eventually heading away from the water flow. As you got closer to the mouth of the cave, you noticed that the fungus and the flowers had become more and more scarce uh, until you got about 40 or 50 yards from the opening and saw that they were not growing anymore uh, from there. You all decided to turn around, head back down the other way. Uh, journey was a long one, but not rough, only to the senses. Uh, but as you walked for a bit, following uh, the flow of the river, uh, you all made it to another very large opening in the cavern. Uh, the putrid smell of decay and death permeates these rooms. Uh, the light from Syrian spell um, eventually it's eaten by the darkness of the cave and the dim luminescent glow from the fungus and the flowers as you all try to see beyond the light that is being produced from his spell. That is where we'll pick up tonight's session. So you all have made your way deeper into the cavern at this point. Um, you actually can see pretty well, um, even though... Um, Syrian's light spell does only go so far. Uh, Siri, we're not doing this. No. Um, that's what it is. Fucking Syrian. I just put two and two together. I was wondering why my fucking. Oops. Why Siri keeps activating only during <laughs> this campaign. That's hilarious. Um,. <laughs> There are, you know, some dark spots, but the, the fungi and the flowers um, are 
incredibly dense where you're at uh, that even the dim light that they produce um, there's just so much fungus that uh, and so much uh, of this flora that it produces a dim light um, throughout the cavern that you can see pretty well um, and it's not like bright light or anything so you can't see super you know super good it's kind of like the equivalent of having a uh, um, of having dark vision. Um, so, with all this in mind, assuming you're all proceeding forward, unless there is something that you all would like to do, let me get you to the spot where you're at. Well, we all, we start you off here. So, um, obviously this is kind of where the Going this way is where the cave leads, so I'll just get this way. That's technically going deeper in the cave, so there you go. Okay. What are y'all doing? Uh, Zero, you sure you're just gonna venture forward without looking around first? Preliminary scans show no asylum threats. Hmm. Well, uh. That's definitely cheerful news. I guess I'll just, uh, follow behind you, Zero, you know, just. For your protection, of course, making sure that the coast is completely clear. I, 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 I got your uh, posterior. Awesome. I love that. I'm just gonna follow behind everyone, just to yeah. Make sure they're okay. okay. <coughs> yeah. He's got your posterior. No, yeah, not, 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 yep. oh, I, I, <laughs> it hurts a little here, but a lot more right here. Uh, is, is, is that a bridge up ahead? I do, uh, I do believe that is what I see. I hope it's not rickety and we fall. Uh, judging by the broken platform that I see, it's not exactly of uh, elven construction. Mm -mm. They were up here. It is all. <laughs> mm. Thank you, Zero. So that's an understatement. Your gratitude is accepted. Uh, Syrian would walk up the stone steps to the bridge and inspect the bridge deeply. Alright, uh, roll me an investigation check. Eleven. <clears throat> it looks old, but you kind of inspect it and you take a step like just a half step onto it not putting your full weight just to kind of gauge um the uh um, to see if it will hold you or not um seems pretty sturdy seems like it would well not pretty sturdy but it seems sturdy enough to hold you um i think the bridge is safe enough to cross as old as it looks Oh, okay. Syrian would proceed to cross. Okay. And off of Tyriel's uh, shoulder, uh, Daigon uh, would have materialized, and he's actually going to fly along beside uh, Syrian. As they move forward, uh, Utilizing his dark vision, he's going to, uh, Tyrion narrows his eyes and scours about his surroundings. He wants to make absolutely positive that they're alone in this instance while crossing this bridge. 
or really coming into this clearing. Uh, roll a perception check. Nope, looks fine to me. That'd be a five. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, you, 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 I mean, it's very normal in all the caverns that you've been to smell death and decay. Hmm. Yeah, it seems about right. We smelled it back there. A little more so here. Uh, do be careful touching that water, though. Don't forget how troublesome it was to you further back. Larger body, I'm just assuming it's more dangerous. Higher concentration in that. Uh, zero, were you affected when you touched the water? Did it did it actually burn you? I felt higher higher discomfort. Fascinating. I felt we used him as a bridge. If it breaks. Tyria will look over his shoulder and, <laughs> makes his, <laughs> and just walks up the stone steps. Kind of a little, you know, trepidatiously, but, but kind of a little bit more confidence than he did before, being that it seems as if, you know, bigger room, more smell. Can we, like, gauge how far the uh... Uh, I mean, what do you mean? It, it, so, as far as, like, where you can see, I mean, it, it's, from where you're at, just, as far as you can see on the map, so maybe about 100 feet from where you are, um, and then those three, um, uh, little tributaries or whatever, um, those kind of go into... like a bigger rock formation not necessarily like a wall or anything but you see these three uh um those three streams kind of flowing out from from some other rocks if that makes sense and it's flowing towards us yeah currently yes in the position that we're in right it, it, it seems as if yeah that oh i i, I caught the current <laughs> can i try to jump across without using the bridge why? Like off the tall rocks. You can certainly try. Okay. There's a bridge in front of us. Well, it's old wood. I don't want to break the fucking bridge. I weigh a shitload. Are you calling yourself top heavy? It's very top heavy. Okay. So, let's see here. What is your strength score, sir? I'd say if you took a step back and got a small running start, you could make it across here. Alright, let's do that. The people crossing the bridge. Uh, Syrian, are you keeping going? Or are you, you kind of stopping in the middle? It's no, I'm gonna attempt to go all the way across. All the way across, okay. Just, I would walk naturally. Like I wouldn't even sure. be cautious about it. Uh, Tyrion, are you waiting for him to cross, or are you right behind him? Uh, I was a little more trepidatious with it, so as soon as I see him cross, then I, you know, would glance over to Diagon, and Diagon gives me like the little like nod of the head. I would then make my way. He does. Um. 
about the time you get right here, Mr. Cheerio. Oh, where at? Okay. The middle. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a dexterity saving throw at advantage as okay. as uh, you hear in your head uh, Diagon say, "Oh, watch out, sir!" And the two of you. Uh, the two uh, ladies behind, uh, Luna and Morgan, you see uh, this very large tentacle-like thing uh, oh, sprout up from underneath the rock and oh, I hate that. try to grab at <clears throat> material. Ten. Question, would, uh, would Syrian see this as well? If you, I mean, if you went around and turned around yeah yeah absolutely i'd say you would oh no no no, no roll needed <laughs> there's something you're doing I in noticed... reaction oh, well i was gonna say if i noticed that tyrio was like in danger or like realized that something could have gone wrong with him like maybe he was losing his footing or something Sirian would have reached out his hand to try and like catch him and aid him across the bridge Does he, like, does the tentacles, like, have hold of him yet? So, okay. At this point, right now, at this point in time, yes, the tentacle does have um, material by the leg, um, <laughs> by the ankle. Um, <laughs> I will say that, uh, Syrian, you turn around just in time to see this. Like, you... Uh, he's he hasn't like lost his footing yet. Um, the the tentacle has just wrapped itself around its around his uh his ankle, um, but you see the tentacle begin to come taut as it starts to pull. And he's like, "All right, this seems totally fine." <laughs> so, um, Syrian, you can make a acrobatics check to try and. To try and grab a uh, grab a hold of Tyrion. <laughs> that's a that's a uh, magic four. users. Oh, 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 oh. Um, Ten. The funny part is I've got a plus three on that too. <laughs> oh. Swing and a miss. The best part is our strength guy goes. I'm just gonna yeet across the bridge. <laughs> Would I be able to move up and shoot a crossbow arrow at it? Sure. Um, yeah, you, you step up, uh, you pull out your crossbow, uh, you knock an arrow, and um, as it begins to pull Tyrael off of this bridge, uh, go ahead and roll an attack. That was damage. Oh, that was damage. My bad. You good. I hit the wrong button. Nope. Yeah, that misses. I'm sorry. So in this, in, in this uh, instant, this this very uh, very intense moment, um, uh, you, you pull it out. You pull your uh, your crossbow out, and you you aim, and um, as it's pulling, you see the the, the tentacle kind of uh, writhing and shift, or not writhing, but wriggling and shifting a little bit. Um, and you're not able to find purchase, and the uh, um, the tentacle pulls Tyrael off of the bridge, and Mr. Tyrael, yeah. uh, you yeah. oh, it's falling one d six. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's one d six for ten. Yeah. All right. So you take three points of bludgeoning damage, yeah. and you get pulled into the water. So that uh, is oh, one point of poison damage. Um, as it pulls you, uh, it, it kind of pulls you just like onto the side of the, uh, just like right down. Oh, just like a right, oh, that's not you. Like a right down here type of situation. Um, just missing the water. Uh, but it is trying to pull you like down under 
mm. into a small hole. Ooh. Can I jump above the tentacle? Like in the water, just straight up with my hammer? Sure. Quick question. Do I have the poison condition right now? Or was that just poison damage? No, it's just poison damage. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, Zero, what are you exactly you're trying to do? I'm going to leap off the edge and try to miss the tentacle, but try to land on the body of the creature. Well, there's no body. It's just a tentacle coming out from under this rock, this big, large rock. Oh. Like, there's, like, a, a small little hole right here. Then I want to try to grapple it. I'm going to jump into the fucking add it and try to latch onto it and grab it. Okay. You're gonna uh, wrestle with it? You're gonna wrestle. Yeah, and it has my leg, so I'm able to react as well, right? Absolutely. I'll, I'll wait till. Because uh, I know Go I was ahead caught last surprise. And give me a. Um, it's kind of a weird situation. Give me a s athletics check. Who, me? Zero. Zero. Oh, zero. Okay. You hurry over, leap over, leap back over the, the small little uh, river, and you're able to um, uh, to grab a hold of the tentacle, and um, and as you grab it, you, it, it stops pulling on. Like, you're able to, to counteract um, its strength with yours, and it's um, you've got it kind of at a stalemate, and it's not currently pulling on Tyrael, but he's, he is still the tentacle is still wrapped around his ankle. Hurry. Please attack. Now, can I try to fly over and grab him? Grab Tyrael? Yeah. Sure. I need to be... Oh, no. What am I supposed to do? And uh, Tyrael, as she flies over and helps you, um, go ahead and give me either athletics or acrobatics, and you can do it at advantage. Okay. This is going to be acrobatic. Sure. Same roll, 14. I roll two 12s. And it, with the three of y'all working together, um, it does take a minute, but eventually um, you do find uh, a small little window um, to where the, the tentacle loosens up just a bit, and you're able, with the, with the help of Luna, um, to pull your foot out free from uh, the grasp of, grasp of the tentacle. And you are currently free. Excellent. So I'm gonna kind of like scurry back. Like he, I'm, ass I'm assuming like I was dropped down on the ground. So as I'm scurrying back, uh, he just raises a hand to the air and uh, he just calls out on Rosbin, and he's gonna unleash out this chromatic orb of energy out towards the tentacle. Okay. Roll me. Uh... Spell attack. I think it's yep. spell attack, isn't yep, it? Yep, it is. Yep. 16. That does hit, and what what damage is this chromatic orb doing? So this was uh, going to do lightning damage. Lightning? Okay. Yep, just because he's just figuring water. So lightning, so he just kind of contemplates that briefly as it just shifts through all those elements once again, staying on lightning and sure. crashes upon the tentacle. Sure. Yo, Not the best. Electricity. 14. Well, that's because everything we are fighting right now is currently in the water. <laughs> Crustacean. <laughs> you're getting a tram, boo-boo. 
Yeah, us. We are also <laughs> in water. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not. not in water. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> uh, nobody's nah, nobody, in the water. Right? Yeah. Technically, right now, technically, nobody is in the water because Luna's floating. Yeah. She's flying. She I was has like, a fairy in the water. and has has little I'm fairy wings. The tentacle, you are holding it. Yeah. Sucks to suck. <laughs> you're, you're out of and you're here. also made out now, of metal. You're just a big conductor. Tracks, oh, yeah, he's you're, gonna you're... take a piece of the tentacle with him. Yeah, you're just incredibly so lucky that he did not roll in that one. That's good. Um, but uh, you do see him um, material. That is, uh, you see him kind of. Uh, shuffle back on his hands and uh, his feet, and you see him stand up just really quick as Luna helps him out. Um, and you still, Zero, you still got that uh, that tentacle kind of in a in a in a headlock, so to speak. Um, Tyrell raises his hand. You see this huge, this this large ball of lightning come out towards the tentacle, um, and as it um, as a few of the uh, um, the lightning bolts kind of arc towards it. Uh, you just see it kind of, uh, in one spot, um, just kind of explode with uh, with this lightning damage. And uh, zero, you're now just kind of left. I think just kind of head uh, headlocking a piece of a end of a tentacle. Oh God! Here we go. Did it break off? <laughs> Of course. Yeah. <laughs> of course it did. Wait, I where, hate what happened it. to me? Did I fall in the water? Did I fall back on land? No, I'd say you, you had your... Because, uh, uh, like, the way it was pulling, like, it was pulling straight down, and your 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 counterweight is pulling up, so I'd say you were able to keep your footing, keep your center of gravity. <sighs> well, I... <clears throat> and I shuffle up to my feet. That was exhilarating. I... Uh... Everybody okay? Can I try to pull it up out of the rock? Pull what? You, you have the, the piece. Of the tentacle. Like I had the piece already? Yeah, yeah. No, you're oh, you're oh, still. Yeah, yeah you're you're cool. you're still like uh, uh, got it in just like a like the. It's maybe like a two or three foot section of the tentacle, uh, just Excellent. in a headlock still. Cool. I'm just gonna. Kind of wrap it around my head like a scarf and climb back up the, the side of the, oh the rock. Oh my lord. <laughs> Tyrael just goes, uh, yeah, hold please. And you see this, uh, his clothing swirl once more into those leaves. Up, down, and he just fucking missed these steps across. Fuck this. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, but there, and it just comes up <laughs> over there, and like there's like this like autumn leaves just kind of like dissipate and scatter across the stone. <sighs> Such grace. Such poise. What can I say? So demure. <sighs> so elegant. <laughs> A cutie. <laughs> Zero, why are you face palming? I don't understand <laughs> these emotions. Right, we'll work on that. Just come this way. Another <laughs> trophy, or the collection. Mm. Ah, hey, Daga. Yes, I see. Uh, more to add to the uh, bearded one. Uh. Perhaps. It looks like you're having better luck up there. Any sight of anything down further? You're speaking. Are you speaking to Syrian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's calling up to you. Um. Take a look. Uh, I would hold uh, my lantern out to try and cast a light as far as it would go. And I got a twenty-one on perception to see if I can see anything. Uh, you can hold your lantern out. Um, don't see anything, you know, within, uh, after that tentacle. You don't see anything that catches your eye, um, that poses as a threat or anything. You see over here, excuse me, uh, you see over here, 
a uh, um, kind of a small like natural archway that leads into uh, another spot in the uh, in the cavern. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm call it. I uh, I don't see anything of a hostile nature, but uh, I do see a, a, a looks like an opening to another uh, to another passageway just up ahead. Oh, very well. And uh, and Tyrion, Tyr 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 Syrian would head down the steps and start heading towards the opening. Yeah, uh, Tyrion would definitely follow and locks up with Diagon on shoulder. Keep trying to grab my token, uh, the token on the stream. That's uh, not going to work for me. <laughs> it's quite. Fascinating that these things could actually exist in such necromantic waters. They are the necromantic waters. They are the necromantic waters. They are the necromantic waters. Yeah. Wa that light spell, is that a something you could do innately, like a cantrip? Um... Let me see. Uh, I, I w what is hanging off of? If, is there anything weird hang like, like an object hanging off of Tyrael's person? Vials, uh, potions, scrolls. I would just I would just grab something random and just mutter. Uh, it would be a light. yeah. You would be able to grab a empty bottle. Uh, I, okay. Okay. Just, without saying okay. anything, I just walk by and just tap it and light it up. Ah. He gives a little gesture with his head, glancing over to the water, as if requesting for you to toss it in. Um, I would snatch the vial. Uh, so I would snatch the vial off and just chuck it into the water. Tyrion will kind of like scurry over to whatever location, like the it would have landed in the water, with uh, Diagon kind of like almost trying to keep toe with the bottle to get a better sight of it. How does the water react when the bottle of light hits it? So much like um, when you had it in the in the vial, um, it like the water itself doesn't part, um, but you see like the purples and and um, like the the just the different discolorations of purple, a little bit of red, a little bit of blue, a little bit of green. Um, just begin to just kind of part itself like it, it, it from probably like a two or three foot radius around the um, uh, around the bottle that has the light cantrip on it mm -hmm. um, you just see this clear I mean just this clear spring water that I mean it looks normal it's almost like the light is causing the it. nasty stuff to just disperse. Exactly. Just like when I tested it prior. So at least we know that this clear away this dark energy from inside the water. The water is still pure in and of itself. Obviously, it's contaminated by this necromantic energy. Um, how big of a how big of a clearing would you say is around the the vial? You said two to three feet of right of, of uh, space is able to be seen. Yeah, it's about two or three foot radius around. Three, so Sirian about about to, yeah about five about five to six foot total. Syrian sticks his hand in to grab the vial. And you pull the. Yeah, pull. I pull it out quickly. Okay. You, you pull it out, no issue. You see, mm. no burns. Syrian gives Tyrael a look yes. and immediately starts touching himself all over to like actually no that won't work never mind that's not gonna I work. see where you're going but you see where my head's at precisely just something to keep note of it, it, it purged the water of this dark energies 
So it, it made it essentially safe in those locations. But how did this get in here? That vials. Ugh. I don't know if that's the cause or the byproduct. This smell of earthy decay and demise. Mm. Can't really well, make heads or tails of it right now. Well, realizing that I basically transferred the light from my bucket to the vial, I would then relight the bucket to continue carrying my makeshift lantern. Okay. And from there, everyone proceeding forward. Yep. Yeah. Yes, sir. Wunderbar. Okay. You all proceed forward through the small opening that Kano pointed out. Or not fucking Kano. Who the fuck uh, is Kano? Who's Kano? a weird name. <laughs> I'm Vodka Dario. <laughs> I'm in the community. Hello, I'm Kano. I'm the BBG. <laughs> um, go through the uh, the small opening that Syrian uh, points out and well, lead you all here. Uh, it does do a little bit of a twisty bout as well. Like it's not just a, you know, go through an archway, you're in a different room. Like it's not a Zelda situation. Like y'all go through a little bit of a tunnel. I should have pointed that out to you earlier. Every time we switch map, we need we need that music. Wow. I feel the one I go across and take that. Don't touch the light. Well, that that definitely seems seem uh safer than what we just passed. What amazing construction. And all this beneath that little farmland. Tyrio begins uh, confidently walking forward with uh, Daigon on his shoulder. He's, he's like walking very confident and just before he hits the bridge, he stops and he just like toes the bridge like Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Can I throw the fairy? No! <laughs> what? No, you can't throw the fairy. Why would you even... <laughs> like a paper airplane. <laughs> Just... <laughs> hey, y'all see uh, Tyrael kind of reach his foot out and tap it and tap it again, putting just a little bit more weight and then tap again and put all of his weight and then you... And you, and, it, it, and you realize that when he's tapping, he's not really testing the bridge because you see his eyes go over the water. He's testing the reverberation of the bridge to see if it's going to channel anything. And then he just kind of starts venturing make, forward. Make, make a perception check yes, as you yes. walk forward. Thank y'all. He's definitely trying to scope. Yes, of course. Everything seems perfectly uh, safe and sound and normal now. I mean, as you look over the the, uh, the ripples from the uh, the waterfall, you know, not too far over, kind of, you know, break up the water a little bit. It's kind of tough to tell. Very confident. <clears throat> In this, we are doing okay. <laughs> and he just gives like a little bit of a shifty side high to Dagon, who clearly looks like he doesn't believe him. <laughs> Can we see how he did it? Um, with the 
weird discoloration, kind of murky in the water. Is it's extremely. You can, I mean, you can roll a perception check at disadvantage to try and gauge it, but it's extremely tough to tell. Could we light the tentacle and throw it in the water? Are you still what? holding the? T I thought you got rid of the tentacle. No, no he put it around his neck like a scarf. Yeah, he's... Oh, my God. Okay. You done fucked uh, up, DM. You're giving him trophies. <laughs> He's gonna go back to the bearded wedge and be like, I have another. Hey, up. That part I mean, ten is gonna be pissed. <laughs> you can try. He's gonna toss it back on the it. on the table. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna tie some rope to one end of it. I'm gonna kind of like put it through the tentacle, like bait. Just tie it so I don't lose it. Are 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 you are you fishing right now, Zero? What is fishing? Exactly what you're doing. That bait line. Are are you are you trying to provoke another tentacle creature or a crustacean from coming up? And attempting to devour me. I desire more of it. I'm just gonna move. Okay. Yeah, I, I and I'm <laughs> gonna move more this way. Yeah, so just... He would probably be close right here. Oh fuck you! I'm gonna go this way. Uh, everyone, everyone else, just getting across the bridge. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. Zero, you're on your own. All right. Uh, zero, give me a strength saving throw, please. Twenty-three. Once more fighting the twenty-three. Twenty-four. Okay. So you <laughs> suddenly feel a vicious tug at the rope. Uh, able to hang on easily. Um, what are you doing? I'm gonna start pulling that bitch in. Oh no! Right. <laughs> oh no! You begin to pull up quickly, and as you do, you see it seems to get easier and easier. And uh, as you as the the knot breaks the water, um, you see that the tentacle is gone. <laughs> I'm hurry. Is satisfied with this result? Hey zero. Didn't Looks I like tell you? He's gone. Mm. We'll work on the whole fishing thing later. Can can we proceed? Is this what sadness feels like? Oh, yes. Yes, no, sweet summer child. There's more to life than just <laughs> losing your bait. That's just disappointment. Perhaps a little bit of depression. Disappointment. Okay. Uh, the four of you that have crossed the bridge, um, go ahead and give me a cheeky little perception check. No. Mm. 23. I'm not seeing shit. 22. <clears throat> I got a six. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, 15. No, you, know, you got a 21. Mm -hmm. 21. Oh, that's plus <laughs> six. Okay, yeah. Plus six. Yeah, Morgan's right. still kind of focused on uh, what uh, what Zero is about to pull in. Um, you other three notice that just on the other side of this uh, this little rock formation, like the glowing seems to kind of not really pulse, but you see it kind of get dimmer. Um, at times, like kind of as y'all are just kind of looking around and uh, keeping an eye on everything, you see the the light on it. So kind of get dimmer at a little bit of times. Um, 
then it'll like brighten back up in a spot and then um, it just gets a little bit dimmer and you also feel uh, a little bit of movement as well um, underneath your feet like the ground seems to be uh, not really like shaking or anything not like an earthquake but um, you do feel like a slight little tremble Uh, as soon as I feel the tremble, uh, his eyes gloss over to that gold. Zenelda Miragrin. And he makes a gesture over his eyes as he attempts to detect magic. Um, I mean, you feel a magical aura kind of all around you um especially in the water it seems to be uh you seem to get more of a kind of a necrotic presence in the water um but as far as like on the other side of the rock um nothing seems to kind of trigger your attention and he's looking at these pillars as well it's just they just seem like just oh those are just, of bones yeah that those and such yeah that what's on those pillars those are it's a little more busy than what i intended the map oh. to be out no worries. I just those are just rocks. Got it. So okay. Yeah. But so all of it's just heavily concentrated on the water. Right. Right. Okay. Heard. Thank you. And is it giving that same energy, um, as when he did it prior to the vial and all that? That same like that same dark necrotic yep. water. Yeah. Okay. Like nothing really shifted on it. It doesn't seem as if it's like uh, it's melding into something else. It's a little more concentrated in this area. Um, like it's it's a you sense the presence um, being stronger down here. Um, but as far as like it being different in, in like a, a school, you know, man, in like a magical mm -hmm. sort of way, not really. Yeah. Gotcha. <sighs> Still mostly concentrated here in the water. Nothing too much on the land. Is anybody else sensing anything? Other than the ground shaking, uh, no. Uh, but uh, I do believe we should probably find some form of cover. Cover? I have a, I, yeah, I have a bad feeling. To hunker down or to rest? Mm, I think to hide. Well, yeah. When he, when he says that, uh, uh, Tyrion's like elven ears kind of like perk upward slightly, almost like a dog's would. And he just takes several steps back from the water. Like, yeah, like, why am I approaching this? I'm just asking for it. But he just knows that his curiosity gets the best of him. How, how tall is this little rock face right here? Uh, right there, probably seven or eight feet. So I could, so Siren could possibly scramble up it. Yeah, I wouldn't see any issue getting up that. Siren's gonna make his way up the rock face. Zero's gonna just come to like the bank here and just kind of like squat down and like peer into the water, almost like putting his face in it. Yeah, Tyrion will definitely follow suit, trying to make his way up the rock. So. Get a better vantage point, gets him a little further away from the water. Yeah, Leno's gonna get oh. into higher grounds. Mr. Zero, let me check something. Okay. Zero, you see a burger on a rope <laughs> coming out of the water. <laughs> on a stick. Give me a charisma saving throw, please, Zero. As you stare into this water. Ooh. Oh, no. Um, this ain't gonna be good. Let me see. A six. Oh, a six? Mm-hmm. What prize does he win? I 
So Zero, you began staring into this very heavily polluted water and the way that the ripples kind of break up your your face the image that you see the reflection it it's oddly mesmerizing you get this sense of not really happiness but more of more of a, a joy just an instant satisfaction at seeing your visage mutilated and you sit there and you focus on that for the time being as you are currently charmed can you describe that to me what, what do you am mean? i seeing like in detail with every don't leave anything out so uh basically when you stare in the water um the ripple effect uh from the uh um from the, the waterfall uh that's just on the other side of the uh i think this right here um as you stare in at your reflection in the in the water um it just kind of the ripples like break up your 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 face the reflection um and kind of make it a distorted uh, uh visage of yourself and as you begin to concentrate on that you just feel this weird urge to keep concentrating on it this this pull at your mind to keep concentrating on it and as you see the ripples more and more um kind of mutilating I'm not really mutilating but distorting your face um, it, it it gives you a sense of, of joy like I said because it kind of takes you back to your original purpose and you just feel that instant gratification from not only mutilating you know other people but feeling like not feeling but seeing um, your own visage being um, being distorted, being, you know, not the way that you see yourself. It, for some reason, is giving you great joy, and that's all you can focus on right now. Thank you. Or let's say this. It gives you a feeling that you've never felt before because you are... Ooh a robot so and that feeling would be joy with my detect magic still up would i be able to see the fact that he's charmed no okay not in this not in this instance mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i mean if you if somebody looks back and just like they I was like say, notices, if I turned around, could I like bonk him yeah. on the head, be like, "Hey, yo, pay attention, let's so go." Excited! Yeah, you would notice him so staring excited! at the water like just a little too intently, a little, little deeply for, you know, 30, 45 seconds, well, longer than he probably should. And uh, yeah, zero. It, eventually, as you're kind of hearing um, in your mind uh, just the cries of of thousands of people you feel this little bonk on your head and suddenly you kind of snap out of it and see morgan sitting there looking at you is this what it feels like a dream i wouldn't tell you but i don't think so <laughs> it's still awake can I, I just? Sleep. Can I snack him? How are y'all doing tonight? Let him know he's awake. Because if he doesn't barely feel pain, then he's awake. Sure. Uh, roll an attack. Luna, it would be your unarmed strike. Or it would be your... an unarmed strike. So it's your plus zero to next to the unarmed strike? 
Just click on that. And it will give you the straight up roll. I got you. How are y'all doing tonight? Uh, I do believe in 18 15. hits. Uh, it does. It does hit him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> go ahead and roll. Oh, it's just one. Uh, so yeah, I, zero, you take one point of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> uh, and Tyrion and Syrian, assuming y'all are trying to peek over these rocks. Yes. As you do, uh, you see this very large creature uh, coming out from the ground. Mm. Um, oh, Lord. And oh, from where no. it's at, you see it uh, actually eating the fungus and the uh, the flowers um, it hasn't quite noticed you yet That's or, what I was about to ask. or from what you can it hasn't acted hostile yet towards you I want to pet it that's a terrible idea fine that's exactly what fine. Zero's thinking too Zero would just get like immensely happy at the sight of something to swing his hammer at. That, that's or not what. She, that, that's not the same thing as what she said. That not even a little bit. That's actually, in fact, the opposite Heavy of what she said. <laughs> He's gonna want it at the trophy because mm -hmm. he lost his previous one. I'm gonna try to fish with it again. <laughs> oh no! It has not detected us. I'd like to keep it that way. Please. Like, can I see it eating all of the fungus? From where you're at, no. Uh, but you do okay. see it begin to um, emerge from the other side of this rock. As you see more of its body come out. It you seems... see it kind of slump over, like right over here. So now technically it's like it's like this. <laughs> but the head of it is just like right over here. Wow. Okay. Glancing around, is there any more obvious exits to this room the same way that we like enter like the archway that's behind us? Is there Stuff like that up ahead? Or is this kind of like a cul-de-sac? Uh, no, there's a uh, there's a spot up ahead um, that you see that you can uh, that you can exit. There's also, I mean, there's the spot behind you as well. But you do see a, a spot up ahead like right around in here. Mm -hmm. Listen, y'all, there's only one of two ways of getting around this thing. Undetected or loud and violent. My vote's gonna be the undetected. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kinda with you there. Like, this thing is massive. Zero? You see more of it come out, and now it's like... Zero had a forehead vein, it would be twitching. Why are your <laughs> eyes glowing like that? I want to see how strong it is. No. Why is everything a challenge? Just isn't the adventure Leave enough? Leave it alone. How how heavy is Zero? He's made of metal. He, he's made of metal. He's pretty heavy. Oh, you think we could de like press deactivate and just carry him through? 
We could use my tinkering box. Maybe you could just tinker little things, make them short circuit. Is this creature itself radiating any kind of magic? No. Um, but it is all out of the uh, the hole, and you see um, at the very uh, the very end as the uh, uh, the the tail, I guess, uh, comes out of the little or the the big hole. Um, you see, it's got this like very long protruding stinger at the end. That's good. Okay. okay. You see it come over here. It begins eating on some of this fungus over here. While it's distracted eating, let's go. If we're gonna move, we need <laughs> to move carefully. And quietly. And quietly. And he gives like a Deep glare over towards Zero. I am feeling great disappointment. And he would just start skulking off this way again. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to quietly make my way down this rock face, not using that bridge. Ooh, and and kind of like flutter. follow suit around like this this long path kind of like here yeah that, that's the idea over here he's got ptsd of bridges now okay well not just that i'm thinking from an advantage standpoint yeah high grounds but also that thing's bigger either way so i want to be beneath its sight and gone not at eye level where it's like oh there you are peter Good thing it's eyes or it's mouth. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> uh, oh. as y'all, and as y'all begin to kind of look at it, I'll say it, there's been enough time at this point, y'all notice it does not have eyes. Does it have Sorry. nostrils? Does it got feelers? It does not have nostrils. Um, it seems to only have a mouth with these gargantuan, uh, very razor sharp teeth and it's just got a long body and then a long stinger at the end does he not have like any like little feelers or nothing nothing like that not that you can tell i'd imagine that it assesses its prey by movement the... yeah can i try and cast thaumaturgy to make it sound like there's a noise coming from like over here Sure. All right, I'm gonna do that. All right. Um, just for flavor, what kind of noise you flavor. putting over there? Uh, almost like a rocks falling, like somebody would be like trying to walk that way, but like loudly. Okay. You don't see it react to the noise. You just see it keep eating right here. And currently, its head is facing this way as well, if that helps. Um, I see them that way. Or Syrian's, that way. Syrian's going to cross the bridge. Okay. In, in that same vein, um, as I realize that uh, Morgan is uh, actually d doing thaumaturgy, and I recognize that magic, I'm like, ah. And... Tyrael is going to attempt to do some himself. However, when he says Binosos, he's going to create a tremor that was in the spot mind. where the rocks fell. In the he stole it. And that tremor lasts up to a minute. Just like a As you uh, cast your incantation and you make a, 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 a instance of a tremor over here that lasts for a few minutes or lasts for a minute, 
Um, you see that it obviously catches its attention. Mm. Um, it makes a slight, like, advance over that way. Mm. Like, it just turns its head. Um, and then you see it kind of hesitate for about two or three seconds. Mm. And then it begins to make its way back over this way. It's not a great enough force, but I believe my fear is in fact true. It feels the tremors. If it didn't feel that, we might be far away enough where we can scurry our way past. I'm just worried about the big metal guy. He can attract everything. What am I currently looking at? Like, I'm at the skeleton. What am I looking at? Just bones. I know it looks, I know it looks like a T-Rex, but it's just, it's just a pile of bones. Uh, rawr. What kind of bones? White ones. Make a survival I'm... check. He's from Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. That's a I mean, other, other than a few human skulls in there, I'm not sure. You obviously know what a human skull looks like, but other than that, you're not sure. I'm gonna have to pick one up and take it with me. Of course you are. I'll take the skull and I'll put it in my bag. Alright. Zero. Is that gonna even fit in your bag? He's the hoarder. I have very large hearing capacity. But too bad it's not a big mental capacity. Come on! And he just gestures to so just like keep going and stop looking at fucking bones. Not everything you see has to be a trophy, Sarah. While I'm standing up here being closer to the ceiling, do I see any like, um, I'm probably gonna say this backwards. Stalactites. Stalactites are from the ceiling, right? Yep, slag tights, top, tight top. Uh, slag mites are on the bottom. Yeah. Um, I mean, you see a few. The the like the place is not like riddled with them or anything, but you see a few. Any like large ones? Uh, yeah. There's one that's pretty big. So it kind of rests like, kind of hangs over here, or so. Hmm. There's a few just kind of scattered out. One might hang out here. One kind of hangs over here. One hanging out like right about here. Not, not where he's at currently. No. <laughs> uh, unfortunately. No, of course not. Because why would that be a thing? <laughs> um, yeah. So do I make it across the bridge? A okay? Yeah. Okay. He begins moving. The food. He's going towards the food. He tries to give a loud whisper up uh, to Syrian as he gestures towards the large body of fungus that's in front of the spot that he's standing directly over. Uh, Syrian would hunker down very slowly. Material to kind of like come up right here just in case something occurs. Diagon just slowly behind it, he kind of like peers over the rock, seeing how this creature observes uh, staring in the book, if at all. The thing that's weird to me. I would, I would, Syrian would whisper down to Tyrion. If, if he only moves based on tremors, how does he know where the food is if he cannot smell or see? Tyrion kneels down and touches the ground right beside him. Kind of like, is, is this rock? Is this dirt? What we're standing on? Uh, 
little mixture of both. He's going to kind of like bury his fingers like just underneath the top portion of it and attempt to see if he could feel any tremors coming through that in any capacity. As if it's like pulsating from the plant. That's the assumption. As if the plant is okay. giving off some kind of like vibration or radiation that this thing is sensing. Over scent. And you're digging your finger into yeah, yeah. like under the root? Or yeah, like... yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Okay. Well, as you begin to dig your finger into uh into the not really it's not really dense or you know like hard but it you know this is pretty uh pretty packed but you're able to uh um to kind of carve out a small little space and you do feel kind of at the root of these plants um there is a small little vibration happening. And about the time that you get your uh, finger and you disturb the plants, uh, you hear this thing let out a very loud screech. And you see its, uh, its head kind of come around uh, the rock a little bit and look directly at you, Tyrael. Hooray! Not today, face step. <laughs> I fish it a mile. I did 50, 20, 25, 30. Tyrael would be excited. Yeah, he, like, as so, like, so cinematically in my head, the way that that kind of, like, plays out is, uh, Syrian would make that comment, Tyrael will kneel down, and then he's he slides his hand into the soil, and as soon as he feels that vibration, he gives like a shocked look up, like in acknowledgement that it's coming from the mushroom, like almost like a. And then as soon as that thing rears its head, he just his entire body just collapses into a pile of leaves, and then comes and up back here. As he does that, I'll adjust him to show where his head is because it would be in the, kind of in the middle um as Tyrael kind of bamps away into a small little uh or bamps away and and leaving behind a, a small little pile of leaves um, as this thing shrieks at you begins inching closer to where Tyrael once was Which i would is like for everyone I, <laughs> I would like for everyone to roll initiative please Ooh, no. absolutely but um hold, hold on one second mr dm sir um just quickly and you tell me if this uh matters at all with this thing um because of what it is but because of the fact that um he was as close as i was and i am a fae of the autumn um um would, would you say that he was within 10 feet of me yes or no no all right excellent never mind then no i shall continue Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Uh, let me add it over here. And I got an eight on initiative. I got 16. I got a 19. I well, gotta remember 20. that y'all do D&D &D Beyond. Uh, 22. Wait, that's not you. No. I got eight. I got a 13. Eight. 22. I got 19. 16. 19. And what'd you get? Zero, 13. Then I accidentally... Oh, no, I didn't. It's up here. Right there. What is your initiative at, sir? Oh, that's not fun. That's not fun at all. <laughs> that, and then just throw Fight! Some... 
this. And first up, Mr. Syrian, you hear this deafening screech from this uh, large creature as it begins inching towards where Tyrael was just a split second ago. What are you doing? I'm going to slowly creep across this bridge. And uh, trying to do it so I, I was going to walk like lightly across the bridge and watch it through. And uh, it doesn't seem to have affected its path. I'm also going to dash. And um, that would be it for me. Okay, <clears throat> Luna. Okay. Can I reach him under the bridge? Like a. Oh yeah, there's plenty of space. Okay. This, this bridge is like 20 feet off the ground. Gotcha. Okay. Um. I'm All right. Well, gonna... closer to 15. I think. Okay. Just so now, um, I'm gonna use ensnaring strike to stop him from advancing any further. Okay. Oh, yeah, go ahead and roll. Okay. That's six. Let's see, let me make sure that it is a... Oh, no, it's a strength saving throw. Never mind. Um, let's see, a strength saving throw, be restrained. Okay, so... Oh. But he does have advantage because he is large or larger. Uh, oh yeah, he saves. Of course he does. Uh, yep. You see the vines begin to um, begin to encase him, and uh, you see it feel the, uh, the the sharp thorns of the vines. You see it kind of wriggle a little bit, and you see the vine triple away. You know, I'm going to throw this out. I hate you. you think that's an I don't like vines. vines. Of vines? I'm, I know. I don't like vines. That's But that's the spell. He wasn't I, doing it on you. You were doing it to him. I'm aware of that. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm strange, but wait, Jess I, doesn't like vines. I will no. Plane I will up, fairy, ranger, which are background of the woods. You, you may have express. to remind me, but I will try to refrain from describing them as vines in the future, even though it's literally rules is written. <laughs> it's, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Morgan. <laughs> All right, like tree roots or something. <laughs> roots. That's, there we go. I'll call him Root. So That's better. That's I'm better. going to consume I appreciate that. my beauty, my beautygen. Mm -hmm. I took the imper I made the impermeable one, so okay. I get uh, resistance to piercing and vulnerability to slashing. And then I'm going to. Uh, try and hit it with a crossbow. Do it. Do it. Uh, 18? 18 hits. Bet. Only four points of damage. Alright, that's <clears throat> four less than he had two seconds ago. Alright, uh, anything else to have movement? Just a tiny bit. 
Zero. speed is it 30 i think it's 30 30 yeah I mean, you could if you dashed but you wouldn't have an action That's the end of the ferry. It's gonna go okay, right well, into the no, I mean, into the wall. It, it actually very easy to remedy this. Um, very easy enough. You do throw her. Uh, Luna, I will allow you to, in midair, just begin to flutter your wings and stop your momentum. Luna stops in mid flight, turns around to Zero and goes, You thought. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say she right now she's floating up in the air about fifteen feet or so right now. I was trying to aid you. Aid me my butt. You were gonna feed me to the damn thing. Negative. I throw you in the opposite direction. <laughs> so using me as bait because if I land somewhere okay I got you all right anything, anything else zero just me as bait yeah I'm gonna use the rest of my movement I think I can go here where was I turtle again I think I was right yeah yeah Okay. It moves up. And it's going to attack you twice. Uh, first attack is a 23 to hit. Do I get to react? Uh, sure. If you have a reaction, absolutely. Apologies, I think that's a opportunity attack. Sorry about that. No, you're good. Um, that is... That one. Ooh. I uh, like the way he said ooh. Me neither. I need either a dexterity or a strength saving throw, please. God damn it. That was a two. Or two plus six, eight. Okay. Uh, you take ten points of piercing. And as it reaches down and bites zero, uh, the rest of you see it flick its head up and you see zero descend into the worm's gullet. Ooh. Zero, you are now blinded and restrained. 
Uh, you do, however, have cover against, uh, you have total cover uh, against attacks and other effects outside of the worm. So I can't move inside of it? Nope. Well, that's unfortunate. Yep. Yeah, and... It moves forward once more. Wait, hold on. Uh, right there. Moves right there. And you are just out of his reach. Uh, but, Tyrael, you are up. Tyrael's, like, as he bams up, he sees all this happen in front of him, and he goes... <sighs> Sorry, ladies, I'm going to have to break up this party and get a little serious. And as he says that, his eyes flash over to the screen. He grabs this scroll that he has, usually kept in his side pouch, and like a bartender spinning a bottle, he kind of spins it in his hand and grasps it, tosses it into the air, and his grimoire floats magically into the air. With a whiff of his fucking hands, this uh, red, orange and yellow sparkle appear at it, as it makes this magical quill. He makes these elaborate gestures with his hands as he begins summoning from the pages this guiding bolt of energy that starts quivering and uh, pointing itself forward. What normally is seen as a radiance, a, a radiance of light from it, he makes a scribbling gesture with his hands and the quill feathers light up into flames as he begins rewriting the script on the guiding bolt and makes it a flaming guiding bolt that fizzles and flashes in between the two girls and is in the go shooting directly at the creature all right roll me that uh spell attack with a 14. 14 does not hit. So it just like fizzles out. It's like, damn! And then he just, his eyes kind of glance over towards uh, Daigon. And Daigon, uh, which usually looks like this um, astral uh, projected image of an owl, its feathers burst into similar flames and it's just going to uh, screech out loudly as it just flies over here to kind of uh, aid and distract. And that's my turn. Okay. Uh, top of the order. Syrian, you're up. Would you say that I witnessed it Swallow zero. Yeah, it's, you can say you can see that from there. Standing on the edge of this little rock face here, I would prepare. Oh, actually, let me double check, make sure. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Um, I would prepare an eldritch blast. Okay. That is a dirty 20. That hits. Nice. For six points of damage. Okay. And, uh, that's it. You know, All right. you know the way of the, uh, warlock. Eldritch Cannon. Uh, Luna. You I'm are gonna... hovering about 15 feet in the air after seeing Zero throw you and then immediately get swallowed.
I want to cast fairy fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dex. I believe team. that is a. You know, I believe that was a deck saving throw for it. Yeah, hers is a deck sports. Yep. What is your that is beginning and ending? Oh yes. Alright. Let's roll this bad boy. <gasps> Uh, that is a fail, because that's a nine. What color would you like for him to be glowing? Purple. Purple. He's glowing purple. You all see uh, this large worm begin to glow purple, uh, and I do believe all attacks have advantage any uh, attack rolled on this creature or object has advantage yep. if the attacker can see it yep and it cannot go invisible correct it cannot uh, is there anything else movement bonus action I'm going to miss you where am I I'm gonna move just above here and what else oh what is that uh cast hunter's mark on him I uh, don't think you can do that because that is two spells I think fairy fire is a level oh. one spell isn't it what is that level <laughs> that's a cantrip Fairy Fire is a cantrip? No, nah, Fairy Fire is the is first it? level spell. First level, it doesn't say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on, it's on your spellbook. Yeah, if you look under your spellbook, oh. it's first level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My babe. Your, your druid craft and your mage hands are at will. Oh, there it is. Level of one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just missed that. Apologies. No worries. All right. Morgan. I'm done. All right. Um... I am going to move to about here first. And then I'm going to... Use my Crimson Rite on my crossbow. I have to take a d4 of necrotic damage. Oh! Damn. Yikes. That's fine. <clears throat> and then I am going to shoot at the big guy. And then I have uh, advantage, right? You do mm -hmm. have advantage, yep. Okay. Twenty-three. <laughs> that definitely hits. What a hit! So that's eight points of damage with that, and he takes a D four of necrotic. Nice. Okay. And that's it. That's all. <laughs> Zero. Unfortunately, it's going to be boring for you. You are still swallowed. I can't Waller. try to like break free of the constriction. You cannot. Want want. For zero. He's eight and sawy. Uh. One two. Oh, uh, you also do, however, Mr. Zero. Uh, what are you? Hold on, I got it here. Zero. 
poison. You're resistant to poison. Poison, disease, and magical sleep. So, uh, that is 10 points of necrotic damage. Zero. Um, he's, you see his, uh, his hind end, his posterior, uh, raise up and it's going to take two oh, slashes, uh, at Morgan, who's the most recent one to move. First attack is a, uh, 19 to hit. No, unfortunately. Uh, second attack was 17 to hit. Also, yes. Boom. Okay. Oh, but I also have my resistance to piercing and vulnerability to you slashing. Do though. That's huge. And also, um, as that happens, would I be able to react with silvery barbs, being that he's within range? You absolutely can. So at least on one of those attacks. Yeah, just like not so fast, and you just see like this silvery barbed like whip this and like bat away one of the attacks, and it it does it does just that. And then on the next attack that he hits me with, I will use my hellish rebuke as a reaction. Okay, <laughs> Jesus. we ain't fucking around now. Uh, <laughs> we locked in. We playing games. <laughs> finally woke. Uh, the, we finally game. woke the fuck up. What the fuck. The fuck? And Zero's going to be like, what happened? I'm like, <laughs> oh, God, burning. Morgan the... just in there. Wrong neighborhood, motherfucker. <laughs> Wrong neighborhood. Yeah, trick. Uh, on the first attack, um, or the attack that hits, that will be 10 points of piercing half to five. And it is also two points of fucking... Oh, wait, no, I need a constitution saving throw. My bad. Mm -hmm. You don't just get it. You, just, you have to make a saving throw. Oh, yeah, uh, Constitution saving throw from Morgan, please. Nine. Awesome. You take two points of poison damage. Okay. And then my Hellish Rebuke. He needs to take a cost uh, duck saving throw. Uh, Twelve. Shit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Shit. Damn it. So he takes one d ten of uh fire damage. All right. Go ahead and roll that. Boy, is it getting hot in here? <laughs> All right. All right. Um, do believe that is the end of his turn. I got that. Got that. I gave zero his damage. Yeah. Material. So glad you had that uh, in mind, uh, James. Keep that energy. So uh, <laughs> I, I feel that I, I hear that thought in my head. Like, oh, right. Uh, Tyrell's eyes and flash red. Uh, the the quill still in that uh, flaming pattern. He it begins illustrating something new on that scroll page, which begins uh, spinning 
like a gyro uh, and the illusion almost looks like a hologram of uh, the scroll almost looks like a holographic uh, cauldron and then it just turns over in the direction of the creature as it casts Tasha's caustic brew but it rewrites the script on the normal acidic damage and it just comes out like flames and you see make a dex saving throw of 14. That is a two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it takes 11 fire damage. Bitch, let's go. <laughs> you see uh, Tyrael casts incantation. You see this, this just stream of acidic essence um just come out of uh uh of of Tyrael. um you see it splash all over uh this being and you hear it kind of uh give a bit of a, a shriek as it's in pain and a little bit of uh as it wriggles and rises in pain a little bit it is bloodied now and if y'all don't remember, bloodied is a condition where it is more than half health, or it is a uh, more than halfway dead, has less than half health. There it is. Uh, oh, get that back. Uh, is there anything else, Tyrael? You got movement, I believe, a bonus action as well. Um, I'm just gonna uh, move back some. right over yonder and then i'm just gonna have old boy here shriek over here uh giving aid to whoever needs it right and that's it right. you are up uh you can see the beast as well um as it is kind of uh standing tall right now with its stinger kind of up in the air kind of like a scorpion ish type situation so you can still see it Can I ask you a question? Sure. How do you feel about mounting? Well, like, I mean, it, 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 it all depends on what your next move is. Are you mounting it to, like, fuck it? Or, like, what are we, we trying to do here? Not to tickle the shit out of it. Well. Or both. I kind of want to jump on, since I'm behind it, kind of want to jump onto like, the back of, like, what would be, like, its head slash neck area put my hand right against the back of it and just start blasting. I mean, you, we can absolutely try to make that happen. I'm just, I, I want to see how this plays out. Yeah, let's, let's, how are you getting over there, first of all? So, first of all, I'm going to take a small leap. So this would be like five feet of movement. And kind of as I'm falling off, misty step to here. Okay. So that was five feet of my movement. 25, yeah, still 25 feet or so. And then, so that's 10, 15, 20, 25 from here. Or, yeah, so 20 feet right there. From here, jump onto its back. You know what, sure. I mean, it would cost you your action to jump on its back but yeah do you want a strength roll to make sure i can grab on and hold i'm thinking more yeah yeah strength because it is it's a little slimy a little slippery oh, 18 nice yeah yeah, no, you slide right off, man. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dog. No, you... <laughs> Slip and slide up there, motherfucker. <laughs> no, uh... Yeah, no, you, you all see Siri just kind of out of nowhere just appear and shut the fuck up. Phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to have to start DMing with my phone in my fucking bedroom. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeet it across the house. Just every every now and then, I'm trying to describe shit, and I hear my phone go, "Huh? <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, what are you selling?" <laughs> yeah, and just kind of out of nowhere, you you see uh, you see Siri and just 
jump on top of this creature, uh, just kind of landing perfectly. Uh, and he is now on top of this thing, straddling it, mounted it, however you want to describe it. And that is literally your entire turn. There's anything well, because you can't really do anything else. Oh, Lord. Luna. Uh, I'm gonna now this time I'm gonna cast Hunter's Mark on him. Okay. <clears throat> All right, and what next? Uh, I'm gonna. Where am I? Um, Girl, you right next to this motherfucker. It is you. Okay. Well, I didn't have the thing up. I was looking down at my phone. Yeah, yeah. You're literally five feet away. From okay. It. He's in your face. Got you. Uh, I don't think I can. You can shoot that motherfucker. Yeah, I'm gonna um. I'm able to move back just a smidge and then hit him with my bow. Sure. Okay. I'm gonna. Oopsie. I'm gonna move back maybe like here up on the rock a bit, just so I can have more. Okay. Yeah. Um, I will say if you move that far, he will get an attack of opportunity. Or okay. It will. Um, you can move right here to avoid that. Okay. All right, we'll do that. Sure. <clears throat> and then I will hit him with my bow. I'll take it out and aim straight down the thing, let it go, and hopefully it ends right in his face. Do it. Do the thing, girl. Do it. Oops. Fucking right in the face. Do it. Do it. Oh god. Thirteen. No, no, no. Yeah, she no, no. rolled a five. Yeah, yeah, you're just looking at the hunter's mark thing, so she would have done an additional five damage if she hit. But unfortunately it does not hit. Of course not. <laughs> it hates me. It kinda hates all of you right now, to be honest with you. I've yeah. noticed. It hates zero more because he ate him. Yeah. Oh no, he's very he very much likes zero right now. <laughs> That's Zero's, buddy. Zero's That's his... quite tasty. He he <laughs> This this thing has not been getting its uh its vitamins and minerals. He likes to getting, taste the metal. No, it's definitely getting its iron, its daily iron intake from Oh my lord. I don't get like a saving throw at all, period. Nope. You're in its good. There's huh? there there are there are two things that can get you out. That's all I'm gonna say. At some point, he has More to, like, like figure it out, out buddy. Right? Well, at some point. Uh, Morgan, you're up. All right. I'm going to move here and try and shoot him with my bow. Do, it. Do I still have advantage because of the uh, fairy fire, or is that gone? Oh, uh, you would still have advantage. Yes, you would still have advantage to uh, Luna because of the fairy fire. Yeah. I forgot all about that. Uh, go ahead and roll again. Okay. Thank you for reminding me about that, Morgan. I can uh, 19. Uh, 19 hits. Hell yeah. Hell yes. That's what I'm talk hit. about. So that's... Second time's a charm, baby. Don't forget your swarm, too. So, oh, yeah. so roll your that. 1d8 plus 4. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take that Hunter's Mark damage that you already rolled. Seven. So that would have been Seven. 12 with the Hunter's Mark. No, so it's 1d8 plus 4 piercing damage, and then that, which the Hunter's Mark's world was a 5, so that would be 12 total damage. So 5 from the Hunter's Mark, 7 from her attack. No, but she has her swarm in control of the 2. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sweet! Right.
and the straight one d six. I don't think she gets anything to it. Yeah, she's yeah, just straight one d six. And the attacks target must succeed on a strength saving throw of DC fourteen or be moved by the swarm for up to fifteen feet horizontally in the direction of their choice. So we need a strength saving throw from this like guy. 17 total damage. Jeez. So you rolled another five? Yeah, yep. sir. Jeez. Things Jeez. looking Jeez. rough. Jeez. Looking rough. Uh, he does save his strength saving throw, though. So he's not... He can't be knocked prone anyways, but he's not moved 15 feet. Okay. Um. Yeah. Now, Morgan. All right. Your turn. Please kill him before I pass out. <laughs> Twenty-four. That, yeah. that was We're a nat twenty. Him. That was a crit. Oh, that was. Uh, that was a crit. <laughs> as soon as you see the strike land uh, before be the damage, things. Uh, you see zero regurgitated Twelve. out. Ew. <laughs> Right. And he still takes the d4 of damage from my, uh... Ah, and... Blood hunter shit. Yeah, and as your, uh... Arrow strikes true, just... Be... I, don't, I don't know, you tell me. How you, How do you want to do this? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shoot it, like, straight through its mouth and through its brain. Ooh! All right, uh, Zero, go ahead and make me a dexterity saving throw real quick. Uh-oh. I'm gonna hit Zero. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> no, you're fine. Just need, not, need to not roll that one. Um, <laughs> Zero, as you are regurgitated out of this creature's mouth, uh, you see an arrow, almost in slow-mo, go right by your head, um, going through, like, the bottom part of its mouth, uh, going up... It, through like a soft spot in its upper jaw and uh, everyone else kind of sees the arrow emerge from the back side of this thing and uh, you just see brains and guts and everything everywhere uh, but it is it does uh, fall to the floor would it immediately is... begin to throw up <laughs> <laughs> it is dead and we are now out of initiative order no Damn it! <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> you did so such cool things just for it to not pan out. I I'm sorry, love. <laughs> sorry, Syria. Oh no! Yeah, I'm covered in worm brains and goo. He I says, be a "Badass angel ninja," and just no. He says, "As the <laughs> as zero has one ear missing, fucking pretty <laughs> all crushed to the game." Massive hole in my chest. <sighs> and then uh. Can I flush the toxins from my mutagen out now, since we're out of... Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. Tyrion's eyes would turn back to normal. The scroll would, like, shrivel itself back up into the scroll case, and he just grabs it gently out of the air, puts it in his uh, side satchel, gives a little snap of the fingers, and the quill just... <laughs> Diagon would come flying over to his Hi. shoulder turning back into the normal little celestial being that it is. <sighs> well, that was rough. Uh, zero, somebody you okay? Me up. So, somebody light me up. I gotta jump in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, princess. I'll cast Thermatology on him just so that he can jump in and clean himself off. In the meantime, just like uh, shove him into the water. In the meantime, I would be assessing uh, the wound on on uh, zero. He would be too damaged to speak. He's like, you could probably breathe on him, and he would fall over right now. Oof. Oh no, zero. Hold still, friend. And uh, Tirae will grab onto his own uh, medallion that you would notice around his neck, which is a brass rose that was painted in like this, like paint a yellow. 
and he closes his eyes and when they open they illuminate in that same yellow as the yellow rose his other hand gestures outwards and you notice what looks to be an egyptian ankh of life just materializes in this yellow flash and he just inelda urutulin and presses it right into your chest for a healing word. And you get back four, uh, four hit points as the uh, Ankh presses right into your chest. Uh, that's really all I can do right now, my friend. I'm sorry. I am oh, absolutely exhausted. And he reaches into his bag and pulls out this, like, foot-long wooden pipe, puts it in his mouth, strikes a flint, and this, like, velvety purple fumes just rise from its bell. Is there, is, I, 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 I feel we should rest some, gather our strength, get some food in us, possibly discuss how to go forwards. I think we all can use a bit of a rest. Get a strategy going too. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Syrian, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm great. Uh, I'm disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> um, with with the light cast from the thaumaturgy, uh, Syrian would immediately plunge himself into the water. Yeah, you might okay. want to get that. Uh... It's not a good look, Zero. I mean, is it acidic? Does it does it does it hurt? Yep, yep. He would just shake his head. Oh, okay. Are you smoking the mushrooms right now? Uh, oh oh no 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 no. It's a it's a moss. It's 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 my own. It uh it helps calm me. Now, oh. now that any gestures over to the large beast, this is done with. Do you, do you think maybe it's best we rest here? I mean, or if you guys insist on pressing forward, I'll manage. I think I need a rest. Yeah. Um. Does it before we rest? Does anything happen to Syrian in the water other than becoming queen? No. Um. She casts light on you, so you just you jump in, and um, there's a little bit of fresh water, and you see all the blood and viscera kind of wash off of you. Throws up into the water, taints it even more. <laughs> um, uh, as he comes to and collects his thoughts, Sarian would slowly climb back up to meet with the party and glares at the stinger of the worm. How big would you say this stinger is? Probably like seven to eight feet long hard material chitinous you think with time you uh, i could cut through about and uh, get six feet off the point what are you cutting with uh i'll hack away with a knife or 
Yeah, yeah. I'll cut. I'll, I'll like cut away. I mean, if it's kite, if it's just kite, and um, it would. I could probably get my knife through it in time. I would say that it would take you probably the full hour that you wouldn't get a short rest. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. You have six feet of worm stinger. <laughs> <laughs> um, with that being said, usually the stinger is connected to some sort of venom sack. Any way I could potentially look for that? How delicate are you trying to be cutting the thing off, cutting the stinger off? Because if you're if you're trying to like pull out the the sack as well, I'd probably want a dexterity check. <laughs> Uh, seventeen on the dex on the dex check. Seventeen, yeah, sure, okay. yeah. You you're able to kind of cut around it, and you very gingerly uh, kind of pull on the uh, um, on the vein that connects to the sack. And I mean, it's not full, um, but there's probably best you can tell, like like a couple of uh um what's the word i'm looking for not vials but uh little pots not pots dang on word i'm looking for not flask right a uh, flask yeah ish um like probably three flasks of uh of oil or of a uh, venom uh ter terio could i could i see a couple of those uh some of those little glass jars on your on your belt there uh yeah sure and he would actually uh, reach over and he hands you two uh, glass bottles. I would, I would carefully cut a small hole and drain the sack into the glass bottles. Okay. Yeah, I'd say just uh, mark off three flasks of um, what's this thing called again? Purple worm poison. I'm sure that'll come in handy in 50 sessions when <laughs> I've forgotten about it. Fucking dust of deliciousness style. Oh, God. <laughs> That's why I have a vial of necromantic water. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. You said, I, you said I, could have, I could have purple worm poison, right? Yes. Yep. You have three, 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 or three flasks of purple worm poison. Not one, not two, three. All right. So everyone is taking a short rest. Or well, everyone but but Syrian. Yes. All right. Uh, if y'all want to roll. Hit die, whatever you do for your short rest, uh, you may do that now. And then after everyone's done with that, we can proceed further if you all so if you are so inclined, or if y'all want to talk about some shit, then I guess talk about some shit. I don't know. Y'all tell me nice. what y'all want to do. So what have we gathered thus far? Fungi oh. that grows in treacherous conditions. Necromantic waters. Or necromantic infested waters. Very, very different. yet still manages to harbor life out of it, like uh, crustaceous and uh, really large, scary, dangerous worm things with abnormally huge stingers. Are any of you familiar with uh, such entities? And he would be looking like almost directly over at the fairy. Assuming that it may know some kind of stuff, being that he notices her like traveling in swarms and such. Is this your wheelhouse? 
maybe knowing more about creatures such as this will aid us in learning about what's happening. Yes, I, I have seen many creatures, but this is nothing of my experience. I have dealt with things that have types of venom things, but this is something maybe I can dive into, seeing as I have some some knowledge of other things that are similar to this. Uh, sure. Um, while I am Eladrin, uh, most of my studies were with the clergy before uh, taking on more scholarly studies in the magic books. So, by all means, please. Could I use my Hunter's Bane to try and identify this thing? Mm. Look at Hunter's Bane again. I forget the wording on it. Ba -ba -ba. Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. You can. Uh yeah, you are you're doing yeah, you have advantage on your survival check. Okay. That's a nineteen. Alright. So this particular thing you're uncertain of, but you know of, like, large, large, like, worms that, that dwell in other regions of the world. Like, you have heard of shit like that, this humongous, um, just the really weird part is... This one, the more that you kind of inspect it and the more you look at it, is emanating a lot of, like, death and decay smell to it, as if it itself is undead as well. Okay. I will kind of, like, relay that information to them as well. Ah, so that's it. These things... Is it that? Is it just the fact that these things live in these waters that possibly they're, they're what's in fact contaminating it? That's a solid possibility. I mean, I don't know how much the ecosystem will change by eradicating simply one. It didn't give any kind of magical aura per se. When I was observing it earlier. So I don't necessarily think it's the source as much as it's a byproduct of its environment. Right. Huh. As Turiel uh, continues to ponder, would he be able to pull into any of the uh, history of the area to see if there were uh, any other instances such as this? Or is that beyond his knowledge? Like, I don't know how close to uh, Daggerfell uh, we are in comparison, which is where he resides. 
I would say actually on the contrary, um, you you're actually relatively close to Daggerford, so mm -hmm. um, this is pretty uncommon to anything that you've heard, and you you know for the past hundred years or so, you've been pretty you've kind of kept up on the you know the goings on around Daggerford and Holbeck, Porto, because those are kind of your your main cities, you know, if you, if that makes sense. It is. So, so yeah, the, you. This is very unusual. Okay. I got uh, nothing in the past hundred years rings a bell as a anything remotely like this. So, unfortunately, these are new events. Unfortunately. Maybe there's some weight in what the brothers are saying. Maybe one is the cause of this? A necromancer, perhaps? That's what I'm thinking. Well, one's being accused of being a necromancer. The other's accused of just being straight batshit crazy. Zero, you're abnormally quiet. I have a thought. Please. If you remove the food source, is it not organic for them to leave? Suggestion. Remove mushrooms on the area. Hmm. I mean, this whole cave was just... All of them. And he just kind of glances around, just even in their immediate area of just town mention. The enormity, the, the immensity of this. The, you, you would need... A massive a, fire. A, se a seismic fire. I mean, you're. I, I like. I like where you're. I like where your head's at. I like what you're thinking, but it's but clear. Is it feasible. Right. Well, based on what Zero is saying, we could let Randall know, and we could work together to build up enough grease. To, to soak enough of these plants and one small match, we could light this whole place up. Just chain it all together. The other problem is we don't know if this is the direct source of the problem. Or how much further that way it goes. Exactly. I mean, we've... Just from the mouth of the mountain have traveled some... I believe it was half hour plus. Right. So oh, by, by now, by now you are a couple hours in. Time's a weird soup. You said we're a couple hours into walking into this cave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I would say from the time that y'all descended from the whale, you're a couple hours. From the time that y'all went. Y'all have walked down from the mouth of the cave from when y'all went up to the mouth. Uh, probably like an hour and 15. Okay. So we're, we're about three or four miles deep into this thing. Safer on the three side. Why don't we see how flammable one of these think some of this really is? I mean, we gotta have a tender pouch down here, right? What 
Well, what I'm saying is if we can just get a nice little coating of something that's flammable and just chain it together and let it all burn each other, especially where it's thicker. God knows what else is in here. Well, I mean, with a big enough explosion, we could just blow up the whole cave and anything at the back is going to blow up with it, right? They'll find a new farm. No, because we get rid of the necromantic energy. We let them know, hey, your farm will never succeed here. Time to move farms. <laughs> Listen. I'm, all, I'm offering solutions. I mean, the problem we're down here for was solved. Just because we create another problem on top of it doesn't mean that the original problem wasn't solved. <laughs> this thing... Is that related to the Isle of Elms? Uh, the bones? It's... A hodgepodge of different. There's a few skulls, you know, a few obvious femurs, like rib cages. Um, some rib cages are bigger and smaller than others. Some skull skulls are different shapes. Um, it's it, it. It doesn't go to just one being. I'll just put it that way. Uh, not from looking around, you don't see any other piles of bones. Now that you mention it, that is quite odd. Well, even a dog doesn't like to sleep where it shits. Is it not possible, you location, where magic was performed? I was looking around and I didn't see any magic. Nothing here was emitting magic except for that. And he gestures over towards the water. As far as I'm aware, that is our issue. 
wherever that flows is going to direct us right to what we're looking for. Yeah, I have to agree with that. That's the only thing that makes sense. So then we continue to follow it. Once you guys feel rested, then yeah, I agree. Your conclusion seems logical. There might be something at the end. So yeah, um, I guess if we're rested and you guys are ready to proceed. Um, well, I'm good to go. I'm ready for a more adventure. Can I use my second wind real quick? Sure. I'll actually be a good dm and give you a little hack use your second win at the start of your short rest and then when at the end of your short rest you get your second win back that's the only time i'm telling you that though well it's up to you to remember that mm -hmm. you heard nothing but yeah you all venture forward going through another kind of uh, small little tunnel way that leads into another open part. This time you hear the roaring of the uh, of the water as it flows past you. It's not like, you know, rapids or anything, but um, it's definitely enough uh, in a, a big enough body of water that you hear it flowing. Which way is the water moving? Is it moving this way or this way? It's moving the second way, this way. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ah. More water, more bridges. But this time, this one's it's broken. It's not a complete bridge. <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> gonna have to jump across. Well, and he kind of like makes a l eyes at the fairy with her wings. Like most of us have to jump across. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to throw you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm feeling disappointed again. Tyrion, he's just... gonna get zero. Zero's gonna get real comfortable with that disappointment emotion very quickly. It's a very normal common trait. For That's all uh, he's gonna feel. To be disappointed. Tyrion makes his way up. Kind of stops at the edge to just observe the water for any obvious movement. Uh, nothing seems to be... Okay. You don't see any movement. Again, it's it's very murky water, so it's kind of tough to see too far below the surface, but you don't see right, any, right. anything. Until he goes over the bridge and something snatches him. Maybe. Maybe. You don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, well, if this is the only way across, and Tyrion's going to kind of like hunker himself back for a moment and then attempt to leap across. Luna's just going to fly over so gracefully and to join Tyrion. 
Dagon's gonna fly right besides the fairy. <laughs> Is there anything okay. that's needed of me, Mr. DM? Uh, no. I'd okay. say with the with a running running start, y'all can get past it pretty easy. All right. Oh. All right. That that wasn't as treacherous as I was afraid it was going to be. Uh, the rest of you. I'll follow right behind them. Okay. Syrian being smaller in stature, and not the strongest, kind of gulp, takes a step back and leaps. Yeet. Yeah. You all make it across fairly easily. Nothing but long bridge ahead. The local flora that's around, more the same? Same same stuff. Okay. Okay. We just think there's farmland right above us. Actually, no, probably not. We're probably far away from that at this point. Got a little bit ahead with Morgan. Mm -hmm. As you get to the end of the bridge, um, everyone who is so inclined, make a either perception or investigation. I will allow either. <laughs> Five. Nineteen. I also got a nineteen. Fourteen. Yo, uh, two, Morgan and zero. So as you all get to the end um, of this bridge, you see that it just comes to kind of a bit of a dead end like it's kind of a kind of a like what eric said earlier kind of a cul-de-sac situation as you um get onto this big piece of uh piece of rock and on the other side um except that uh morgan like i said morgan zero material as you three begin to kind of um inspect your surroundings uh you do notice that there's a portion of this that looks like it's intentionally closed in. Like there are, um, like rocks placed in it. Like it, it just, it kind of like what you're saying. It kind of looks like a, like a Zelda secret type gotcha. of situation going on. Like there's, you know, it's mostly solid rock except for this one spot. Mm. Do you all see that yes and d does it look like uh the size of a passageway is it something smaller like a crawl space like what That's type size of situation of a, size of a pass about the size the same size as uh you all have come through in between scenes mm -hmm. so about like a like a little tunnel way probably i don't know seven eight foot tall six seven foot wide mm. Would I be able to break through it? Well, you can certainly try. How are you going to break through it? What you doing to, to try to break through that barrier? I'm going to just try to... Uh, well, can I, can I look at the wall real quick? And do I see any, like... I'm looking, I'm looking for, for, like, like any imperfections, imperfections or weaknesses. He's taking a second time out. I mean, that, what you're looking at right now in itself is more or less an imperfection or a weakness. Other than that, other than this particular spot, it's pretty much solid wall. 
solid rock. Okay. Um, I would take a couple of steps back and then I would try to uh, like run at it and shoulder charge it. Okay. Uh, you know what? Just roll me uh, an athletics check. We'll just keep it simple. Sixteen. You take a couple steps back, and you all see him uh, charge at this wall, and um, you see a couple of you know rocks, pebbles, whatnot fall. Um, you break through it a little bit, but you don't. I mean, you don't. You're not all the way through. Let's just put it that way. Like, there's a small little section uh, kind of where your shoulder is that you can kind of see in. Um, but other than that, you can't really... You still can't get through it. Can I see through it, though? Like, if I was to look through? Uh, make a perception check for me. It's a six. And it's mostly dark. Uh, zero. Anything. I see nothing but darkness. Uh, Luna. Your minuscule compatriots. Are you able to see through them? Yes. They share. Maybe you could try to send one through the cracks there and see what's sure. on the other side. Sure. He says trepidatiously. Luna will instruct one of her little spiders to go through the really small crack that just the little spider can fit through to see if they can find anything on the other side. All right. And you did say that you can uh, you can see and hear yeah. through them, I believe, or is yeah. it just see? I can see. Hang on, let me see. What is it? Let me double check. That's what happens when it's on my phone. Hello, one. Yeah, I don't think that you can. Oh, yeah, gosh. They're not familiar, so I don't think. Yeah, no, you you can't see through them or anything like that. Oh, okay. No, unfortunately. I thought they're she could like communicate, communicate with, them, with them, though. Yeah. They're nature spirits. If I was a little more rested, I would have attempted to... Uh... And he looks over towards uh, Daigon, and he's like, cover your ears. I would have dispelled Daigon and done it myself, but unfortunately I can't right now. We've we been exhausted. You hear in your uh, head, how dare you? Uh, uh, <laughs> I did not, my friend. I would, I would, I would, I would, I would never uh, imagine to do such a thing. And he looks at you all like, Literally just said it, sir. I did. Could you just spell me? What? I like what how I got British. It would be for the greater good. I mean, you would literally be there in spirit. You would just have a different form. That's all. I know you've grown quite fond of this one, but it would just be for a moment. 
or would have been rather. But I must say, I do prefer you as this. Hmm. Oh, I truly do. Turns his head the other way. <sighs> Dagan, I hate when you do this. Come on. In front of everybody? Ah, never mind. Can you speak to your spiders? Uh -huh. I can communicate with them. Suggestion that you have them navigate the other side and report back. That sounds like a swimming idea. That I can. Luna will instruct the spiders to go through the other side and tell them to scout out what's on the other side and to report back with any information they have. You send your spiders through and they... Um... Uh, so you send your, um, uh, you spend a couple spiders through. Um, they're in there maybe 20, 30 seconds, and they come back. And um, you uh, hear in your head, um, yeah, just a door. May I ask, do we know if anything possibly could be guarding it of any kind? No, it's just a door. Okay. Is that all that you, ha you have um, seen? The door? Some rocks. Okay. Nothing. You're not picking anything up that seems unusual to you that you would that you normally don't. Uh, in fact, there's a door down here. I mean, there's a cave. Okay. In yeah, the middle I'm... of her talking to it, I would uh, swing my hammer at the fucking opening in the. Uh, oh, oh, I see oh, the door. Okay, Lord Leroy. I <laughs> guess you can just swing <laughs> at the wall. I will have to mention, my spiders have a report and saying, have told me multiple times, I will give you that, there are some rocks and a door. There's a door on the other side of this, so there's... Yes, they said three times there's a door. Made, made sure I understood correctly. Oh. A door. Okay. Zero. Maybe you're right. Maybe something's all meant to be hit. <laughs> Translation. Everything can be hit. Consequences may follow. Well said.
All right, y'all are pretty determined. I won't make you roll for it because it'll just get into a big roll fest. Um, what we can do is roll me a 1d6 zero. Uh-oh. Never mind. Yeah, it's a six. All right. So for the next hour, you all uh, move rocks, trying to figure out how to get to this door. You finally um, get the open, get the the um, little tunnel uh, open enough where everybody can get through. And as the uh, the tunnel opens up, the what the light penetrates the tunnel as well. So you all now see. Uh, about 10, 15 feet through this tunnel, uh, 20 feet or so, there is a door at the end. What are you all doing? Charge! No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm going to kick the door open. Uh, of course you, you are. Can you make sure that it, it's not enchanted with like a trap before you kick the door? Or if it's a mimic? Or if there's a mimic in your Somebody hole. grabs zero before he does something stupid. I just said it out loud. If you do something stupid, that's on your own accord. What, uh, what is quite a mimic? Never heard of such a creature. Oh, vile things. They're they, annoying. They they're dastardly like little things. Literally anything. Anything. And they're... A chest, a book. A body. A door. An owl. A purple worm. Mm-hmm. That, oh, like the one that ate you, Zero. Well, if anything could be a mimic, what's to say that you're not a mimic? Ooh, wee -oo. <laughs> Let the robot kick the door. He didn't get to kick the worm. Kick the door, Zero. <laughs> Go ahead. And the wizard takes three or four steps back. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. All right, go for it, big guy. Go on, show us your strength. Where's that energy, Lord Leroy? <laughs> <laughs> so Zero's going forward, kicking the door in. Um, I'm going to say he's going to do the same kind of shoulder jaggle he did before. Okay. At this point, he's going to separate his shoulder from his body if he keeps Zero it like this. Zero literally said, time's up. Let's do this. Get out of my way, puny humans. I got this. So, Zero takes off. Dead sprint, running towards this opening. Uh, you all that are sitting back, you see him disappear into this tunnel and... <sighs> A short second or two later, hear a, lar a loud thud um, as the door does swing open. Zero. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that was easy. <laughs> On the other side, the BBEG says, You know, we could have just used the hand. Bitches. Could <laughs> have <laughs> knocked. Anything there? Scanning. Make a wouldn't. make a perception check for me, Zero. Come on, big guy, you gotta pass at least one of these fucking perception checks. <laughs> or you could continue to do very poorly. That's a Oh horror. no. You see a guy on an altar in kind of the middle of the room. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Fuck. That's not what we want to see is behind a door. I seem to have disrupted someone's praying. Upon the, hearing the words of prayer, uh, Tyria would uh, quickly rush forwards 
His eyes uh, fixated at the altar, uh, trying to see through the darkness with his dark vision until he could make out. Oh, well, this, whoever, this uh, room is actually pretty well lit up. Oh. Um, to be honest with you. I'll just move you over to where we are. Oh, Lord. And uh, the guy on the altar does not look like he's praying at all. He is lifeless laying on the altar. <laughs> oh, it was a sacrifice. Got it. Good. For the worms that we have endured. Apologies, friends. I am mistaken. He seems quite lifeless. <laughs> All right. And you already, uh, and uh, Zero already observed the room to make sure that it, it was only this thing inside, right? Yeah, that's what he said. Can I just point something out very, very quickly? Uh, it, it, DM, did you did you make these maps? No, I did not. Oh, I was gonna say because it looks like you were ready for Zero to charge through the door as it's laying on the floor, way the fuck over here. Oh no, y'all coming through this door. This door is still attached at the hinge, technically. Heard. Yeah, and uh, all this fungus just mm -hmm. pretend it's purple. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not red. It's purple. It looks pretty red to me, but okay. It's purple. <laughs> Could I roll for Arcana to see if I would know what kind of, like, ritualistic type shit this was? Same. Um, is everyone stepping in? Yes. Yes. I rushed in as soon as he no. said Walter. Yeah, I'm stepping in. <laughs> Siren closes the door behind us. <laughs> Bottom boss, click. Produce my dick wall. Could I also, like, well, see if I recognize anything? I think you can't hear in a second. As you all step in. Oh, hello. Boot him up. Oh, we're about to get cut. Oh, Lord. Like. Oh, Lord. Who the heck is that? Hold on, let me fix something here so y'all can see me. Is it... Man, I'm ruining the dramatic moment here. Zero, you look different. Chill it. <laughs> Well, it looks like I'm the dungeon master now, bitches. <laughs> uh, Uno reverse card. <laughs> and trust me, if I was zero, I would have made so many different decisions. Literally. Thanks. That's okay. So as you all step through, you hear a voice come from, uh, well, I mean, you know, Right here. That zero must have missed. Oh. There you are. And then you see the figure kind of turn towards you guys and slump forward. And their eyes locking onto Syrian. I've been expecting you, Syrian Delion. You, of all people, have traveled so far, so faithfully. Always spreading your father's message. You must be so proud. <laughs> I wonder, though, did Ryzan ever tell you the full story? You see, I know how he spun a tale, a lovely tale of betrayal, and how he was wronged by the heavens, but did he ever once tell you about his dealings in the hells? <laughs> you lie, foul creature. <laughs> Ah, 
But it's easy to overlook these little details, isn't it, when you're so caught up in your father's love for whatever it was that he called it. You what do you know of my father? <laughs> oh, I know a lot. A lot more than you, apparently. And have you considered what of Celestian? You know, so silent these days. Huh? Have you ever perhaps wondered why? Wondered if maybe, just maybe, there was something more to this grand fall from grace than you were told? <laughs> well, last I checked, the stars still sing. Oh, they do. Oh, they sing many stories, but most of them troubling stories. <laughs> You see, it's so hard to know when the who the real villain is when only one side has been speaking. And I wonder how much longer you'll keep following a path paved by someone who's only ever shown you the pieces that he wants you to see. Well... I know the heavens above are not a creature such as yourself. You are the one spinning lies. <laughs> Fucking dumb boy. Don't worry. Soon enough, the truth has a way of revealing itself. What? Even when it's been, uh, buried deep. <laughs> and you just hear That's this laughter enough. you hear this laughter reverberate throughout the 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 halls of this big cathedral like thing that you've stepped in uh and you begin to see movement from Oh, no, I was on the wrong way. I was on the wrong way. Uh, you see the body on the altar begin to move, begin to start to stir and set up. Um, and you see a couple of other bodies that were buried in the fungus begin to move. And funny that you should mention that door. Because now it is knocked off. And you see a big old fungal monster walk through. And that's where we're in tonight's session. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, you man. Always, you always do this to us. Oh, and he disappears too. Of course he does. As he leans back, he, disip he uh, dissipates into thin air. Look at that. Oh, beauty. he looks. He looks sexy. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. He looks incredibly vulnerable in the fire. He does. <laughs> he, uh, oh, yeah. Everyone got lighter. You look incredibly vulnerable to a whole fucking roof falling on top of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, look, I'm a bomb! bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Take cover! <laughs> All right. It's now time for a Roses and Thorns. I forgot to do the session thing again. So if everyone be so kind... To roll me a 1d20. 1d20. I got a crit. Does that count for anything? Does that mean I don't have to say a thorn tonight? You know what? I like that. You can. You, you can. I got a you 19. Don't say, you don't have to say a thorn if you don't want to. I got a 12. You can have either that or DM inspiration. Your choice. Hmm. I got a 13. Don't you tempt me with a good time. I mean, to be fair, mm -hmm. DM Inspiration is only 1d4, but it's on any, literally any roll. Mm. Right. Uh, and and they, you can stack them up, right? Mm-hmm. 
I think I'll take an inspiration on that. That that's gonna be come in handy later. There you go. All right, so you got a twenty. What did everyone else get? Uh, Cheerio, what'd you get? I 13. got a twelve. I got a thirteen. I got a nineteen. Seven. I got a thirteen. Twelve. Twelve. I know you got a twelve. You said it five times. <laughs> it's hey, not DM, hard to miss I got a twelve. I got a twelve, DM. Well, we'll get to you in a second. <laughs> Syrian. <laughs> Give me two more seconds. I'm just writing down some notes. Alright. Rose and Thorn time. Oh, jeez. Come on, chair. Lift. Alright. So, my Thorn tonight would be realizing I travel with a bunch of murder hobos once again. <laughs> Not I, Jellify. Um, I just want to say, I didn't attack first. Oh, I'm aware. That's because but you, you wanted to. the fairy. Away Correct. from it. But the fact of it is, you're throwing me into towards near danger. No, he wasn't. Not at all. Away from danger for like the seventh time now. Okay, but the fairy thinks no matter what he's going to do, it's going to end up in, in danger. in character, I guess you'd think that the giant fighting robot wants to like, oh, bait. I get for that. For fuck's in sake, he carries true? everything as a trophy that he killed. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so I totally get it in character, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, no, he clearly said he was going to throw you away the fuck over there, which would be out of the sight of the monster. But yeah, I get in character, say, I get it. He could say that, but then alter his direction. So, yeah, my thorn would be, just for tonight's session specifically, realizing that I'm traveling with a pack of murder hobos again. Um, <laughs> my rose, as selfish as this may seem, is I remember talking to you in session zero about how I like to craft things. And if I know you, you know where I was headed with that purple worm. I mean, I have an idea. I don't know exactly where you're going, but I mean, you got a long pointy thing and some poison. I have a pretty good idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Morgan. Oh, boy. So, as far as my rose goes, I like that this uh, worm thing was, like, just challenging enough to actually be like, alright, now I'm actually getting to use some of my abilities. But it didn't, like, totally kick our asses. To that point, it was actually a little more challenging than I wanted it to. I thought I'd, I thought I, uh, um, scaled it down enough but <laughs> just straight up hey. yoinked yoinked zero first try zero, zero lived he's fine <laughs> barely Good. just Don't barely live. he's hanging did you die? he's hanging did on you die? <laughs> but did you die all right uh and a thorn that's a really hard one for this We can come back to you if you, yeah. if you want to. Okay. Yeah. Material. Yo. Um, let's see here. Um, Rose for me was the fact, and this is uh, a progression thing, uh, everybody getting more comfortable in their characters. Therefore, we're all starting to really begin to utilize our tool belts. You know, so like, uh, you know, watching the blood hunter do their blood hunter thing you know watching you know all of us like pulling out the magic and it, that that was just like super dope that you know we get the the chance to do that so that that was a really really great thing you know i really got to show off like the the specialty of being the uh, the college of scribes uh 
wizard and that that was a lot of fun because i've been wanting to play with that for a while so that that was that was uh, super fun uh let's see thorn hmm like honestly there was nothing really uh glaring for me um but i'm trying to see if i could even just come up with something um hmm I mean, honestly, it w it's nothing that you can control, but the shitty ass rolls. You know what I mean? But sometimes it'd be like that, hey. dog. You know what I mean? Yeah, they, look, there, there's going there's going to be a night when y'all are going to roll like eight nat twenties. So That's I'm, what I'm saying. Look, so it makes y'all gotta let me get my potatoes. licks in while I can, That's man. That's what I'm saying. Makes <laughs> makes for the dumb good roast of potatoes. Makes it, and you can tell you're like, ah, oh, my poor motherfuckers, because you're like fourteen, and you're like, nah, man. <laughs> like, Heroes getting your far ass right. missing the gargantuan shit, kids. <laughs> That's so, right like in I front said, of your face. That, because honestly, like story be wise and everything like that, you know, like er everything's dope, and we're only like steamrolling more, especially as we're starting to get to like the little climax of this area. It feels, or at least in this pocket of of what we're doing. So that's super cool. But yeah. That's it. Luna. I'm going to do my rose first. Sure. You can do whichever one. Uh, okay. I like now that I'm able to start now using my, my fighter swarm to use them as intelligence, if you will, to get information out of things. Because I've been yeah. not using them because I haven't had the chance to. So now I like that I'm incorporating my little spiders into my um, journey. I like that. Yeah, big asset. And then my sword is, don't use vines, please, don't use vines <laughs> in your descriptions. That's the only thing I have. You'll s when you cast that, you will have to remind me, but I will eventually okay. remember to not that was, vines anymore. That was my thorn for that was my thorn for this night. It has nothing to do with I know it's because of my cat thing. It is vines and everything, but as weird as it sounds, I don't I don't like vines. I I, I don't. I'm weird. I just don't like them. <laughs> I'll also say uh that it is good that you are a ranged character and Oh, no. Never mind. Oh, never mind. Yeah. This could be bad for Zero again. Uh, Zero, <laughs> speaking of. <laughs> oh, Zero. Um, can I, instead of a good about the session, just maybe target a person with it? Yeah, it... The okay. roses and thorns can be as broad or as narrow as you like. It can be, a, you know, about the session, about a person, anybody. It can be, it can be anything. Literally anything. Um, I really enjoyed Tyrael's flavor text, you know, for all of his spells and, like, rewriting the spells and all the obnoxious arm flailing. I mean, I thought it was just incredibly immersive. He did really well with that. On... And I'll like piggyback off of that. I feel like, um, for example, Luna's a newer role player. Seeing her be a little more descriptive, it kind of bugged me. She was like, she did everything right to describe what she was doing and then forgot to say what she was doing. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's part of my fucking ADHD. I get going and then I forget what I was supposed to say. She was doing so good that I was like, Fuck, she didn't say what she wanted him to check. <laughs> it and it's a, I have those ADHD moments even DMing. Like y'all see I'll have like if I have like a ten second pause in between saying shit, I've forgotten what I was gonna say. So <laughs> like I do it all the time. It's no big deal. And my thorn and it's gonna continue to be a fucking thorn until it gets fixed. We need more than one session a week. This ain't this ain't gonna fly. <laughs> Look, y'all want me in the city more. Y'all want me to DM more. I don't. I don't know really what you want from me. Quit right? your just, job. Uh, Do your quit. job. Just, just quit my job. Yeah. Okay. Quit your job. 
Start I'll selling quit. your feet on the internet. Quit your job. Bro, I got some. So, so I got some name? immaculate feet, by the way. Dear Lord. We just have you DM from inside of, of fucking... work. Dude, I still, to this day, as much as we're getting away from the Oni characters, I still want to sit down and, like, do D&D in a public setting with Darnell. And teach Darnell D&D. If he's talking D&D at Koi. I was in, I was on mute. Okay. Yeah, I was just I was thinking it out loud and then I'm like, "Oh wait, I'm on mute. I got it." <laughs> Y'all should do like a mini like YouTube video on that shit. I swear to god. Like like a weekly session of like, I don't know, 15 minutes of just bantering back and forth. I would love to watch that. Yeah. I just don't know which character like I would do though. Like would I be Oh Sire no, JB would, would JB? You would definitely it, be JB. Cuz like, there's, there's is the pros DM. And, there's pros and cons to both, because, like, you know, JB, JB is just going to be like, oh, no, it's a mimic, or some <laughs> bullshit like that. <laughs> and then, you got to have, but, like, a super, super simple session. But but Sai would be like, oh, I rolled that two. I rolled two nines of 14. What are you talking about? It's a 14 right there. It's not two. <laughs> Yo, I took all that. Did you mean two one? What are you talking about? What's that over there? Turns the dice over. <laughs> <laughs> My dice not loaded. What are you talking about? I rolled right. this. Not, what not. not that. One thorn from Amron. Or from Morgan, Amron, Meg. Same, whatever. same. It's all the same. All three of them. Uh, I also just want to play more. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. That's, that's, a, that's a mood. Not a lie. So it's official. Um, your job's phone number again. <laughs> all right, we all gotta call him. We all gotta call his work. They're like, yo, so, sorry. He's got food stop. poisoning, Clay. <laughs> he <laughs> can't. He shits. can't work for you no more because he's gotta hang out with his cool people. Sorry, not sorry. We're gonna call him and and make him give you Wednesdays <laughs> off or <laughs> Thursdays <laughs> off, technically. My, Why not Wednesday and Thursday? My son, no one working for you no more. He on DM on the D and D. Yeah, do you have DMT? We talk about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as great as that sounds, unfortunately, I have to pay bills around here. Um, I told so. you, I gave you the solution. All right, the feet chat. Are the solution. All right, feet chat. Feet. You heard it. Everybody got to PayPal him directly right now. Each of you, three hundred dollars for listening. Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> if not, you're getting a vodka dopper than the chat. Forty dollars per toe, fifty dollars for a big for a big toe. Whoever that mystic misfit hoe is, instant ban. Alex, please and thank you. And you gotta, it's like at least minimum twenty four dollars, twenty five dollars from for the whole foot up to the ankle. Oh, that's a that, that's cheap. Um, okay, 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 now. okay, fifty five dollars. All right, there you go. Fifty five. And you gotta subscribe. Absolutely. Uh, oh, DM Thorn. I was player trying to sell his feet on the internet. <laughs> no, no. You hold better, you fucking nerds. <laughs> no, actually, uh -oh. my my thorn is I have to get more creative because, I mean, I'm not going to tell you what you're right on and what you're wrong on, but about 80% of the shit that I'm throwing at y'all that I'm, like, trying to keep close to the chest, y'all are figuring out. I'm not going to lie. Ooh. Like, y'all y'all talking about shit, and I'm just like, those motherfuckers, huh? What? <laughs> So, I almost got to get more creative. Cause my my other two groups are morons. So, uh, <laughs> it's 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 weird having a group that I'm just like, I have to not rework like the story, but I need to figure out more subtle ways to throw shit in. Um, I mean, I did I did throw you know a, a BBG at y'all, and that wasn't really all that subtle tonight. But you know. I just wanted y'all to meet him. Yeah. You know. Oh, that that moment was cool. Yeah, that was. Um, my rose. <laughs> my rose is, and this is mean, but I'm sorry. It's my. It's it's just one of my favorite things. That's right up there with uh with with the bobcat. Um. <laughs> oh no. 
the fact that for 15 minutes zero is like i want to hit this thing i want to hit this thing i'm going to hit this thing and then when it came time to hit this thing he instantly got swallowed for the whole fight <laughs> <laughs> Oh like you're all oh, trying yeah. to figure out a way around it and he's like nah i want to hit it and then Tyrion fucked up Tyrion fucked up in zero's time to shine baby <laughs> walks up gets fucking swallowed in in my mind that played out like a scene from like either fucking like beetlejuice or Goon <laughs> when the sandworm just goes like yeah. just goes like sandworm. <laughs> Or freaking uh, way to go, Boba Men Fett. In, or Men in <laughs> Black. The Sarlacc. I was hoping I could like fucking kill it from the inside and just burst out of it. <laughs> Remind me of Men in Black. Oh, I think uh, the uh, cockroach or whatever it was just inhales and when he goes, "Eat me, eat yeah. me." Remind <laughs> me to install spikes on my armor. That's what it, that's what it felt like with Zero. He's telling them to eat him, like, mm -hmm. eat me, eat me, and he eats him. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that's in for tonight's session. Uh, thank you guys. Love you guys. Had a lot of fun. Look forward to the next session. Look forward to seeing the viewers in the next session. Hopefully, y'all are having fun as well. Um, I am. That's why we need more time. So, yeah. One week from tonight, the 18th of, I don't know, September? Is that what the month it is? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's literally September 11th today. How can I forget? Oh. Um, so, one week from tonight, you will see a nice little epic battle. Hopefully. We'll figure something out. I don't know. We'll be d and d But, anyways. Thank you, guys. Thank you to the viewers. Thank you to the players. Um, love all of y'all. And, yeah. We'll be having a yakuza dinner party tomorrow at like 8 eastern or some shit yeah come Nine check eastern. it out yeah uh, it'll be about the panel might be an idiot we'll be there i'll be there i'll um, be there yeah thank you when i won't be but All right. Right. and yeah you finally get to see this uh this lovely mug i told you just be fucking patient james <laughs> yeah be patient I wanted that dramatic face. effect for the uh, for the BBEG. His beautiful face will arise. <laughs> All right. That All right. officially concludes tonight's session. Eric, do your thing. All right, y'all. We love you. Have an amazing night. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're not doing so already, I already pinned our wonderful Dungeon Masters Twitch. Go follow his ass. We love you guys. Have an amazing night. Peace. I love, love you. Bye. And so, Yakuza on top, bitches. Bye. <laughs>